Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, 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 uh, Peshai put up, and his handle is DMV, Arsidians, DMV represents Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, because D.C. touches three states. The 10 square miles of D.C., it touches part of the Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. Like you have the... Uh, the Pentagon is in, I believe, if, if I'm not mistaken, it's Langley, Virginia, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, this is a video. Well, this is the title of, of Apostle Gabar's video. Elder Pashai, DMV Assidians, meets a word salad, dreadlock wearing, bug, bug out, who boasts in the law. Now, he said something. He mentioned the name of, uh, he said we don't got to deal with the New Testament, it's all about the law and the Old Testament you know, how can you deal with the New Testament but then he mentions Yahawashai, but he doesn't even pronounce his name correctly and he mentions the Most High's name and he doesn't even pronounce that correctly so you, in that situation <clears throat> I would look at my watch and tell him oh we're getting ready to close up <clears throat> brother, you got any last statements I would leave, go someplace else and um set up someplace else. And um because because it's going nowhere with that guy. And he's coming against disrupting the teaching that's going on. He and he comes with this arrogant spirit of I know more than you. He's a complete bug out. A complete bug out. So I just and I'm not gonna make this long. See, cause you got a lot of bugged out Israelites just popping up out of nowhere. So let's listen. Who the heck is this guy, man? The point of the matter is, is that the point of gainsaying. That's why the Lord said his people are stiff hearted and a gainsaying people, man. The matter is, is this. Did you hear what he said? And first, and right here, right here, about 30, little bit, 29 minutes in. Apostle Gabar goes into the fact that he has this long, this crazy haircut. He's just a bug out, bugged out Israelite from some Hebrew congregation that's not a part of one West. And there's so many of them. Some of them, they teach that, well, some of them teach that the white man is uh, are the descendants of uh, Japheth, which that's what they all used to teach. The first time I heard, the first time I heard the white men descended from Esau and from uh, the men of the, se the, actually the seven, I can't tell you, tell you which one I heard it from first, but I believe it was Ariah. He mentioned that the white man's Edom went into the scriptures and gave the, def the description of uh, what an Edomite looks like or carries himself. And I was hooked. I said, uh, I said the white, so-called white people descended from Edom. They're not sons of Japheth. He probably thinks that the white man are the, are the sons of Japheth. He has this uh, erudite spirit, this hovering over everybody else, that he's, he's, he's there to teach them. They're out there teaching. Scripture said, eat the roll, then go out and teach the, the house of Israel. So we, if we're teaching something, if you got another person talking about they teaching you, I said, you're teaching us the wrong way. Like I said, I would just pack up. I would look at my watch and I said, okay, brother, nice, nice knowing you. What's your name, brother? You know, scriptures say deceiving, and um, the scripture says, uh, um, damn, and uh, deceived and yet true. I can't even think of the passage in my head. I can't even think of the, uh, the 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 passage. 
If I think of it, I can go, go to the scripture. Um, let me see. But yet true. But yet true. Let me try this. Bear with me for a minute. See if it comes up. Let's see if it comes up. I can't even think of the daggone passage. If it comes in my mind, the actual passage. Let me do it this way. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. There it goes. By by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true. So we can deceive people and still be come with the truth. You can lie to a person. Uh, the Apostle Paul said I caught you by guile so in order to get out that situation you say oh we're getting ready to go you the packed up left go 10 minutes away where you know that nigga ain't going to follow you and then set up someplace else we ain't got no time for people like this we don't have any time for people like this and you got to learn how to read spirits you can see the way his hands, you know, like a professor, they got their hands and they're lecturing. He's lecturing to these brothers. And they're the lecturers, man. All this nigga got to do is find his own corner and teach his bullshit. Now you heard, let me, let me see if I can uh, pull up, uh, I can't. Let me bring it back so you can hear it. Give me a second. Law. Neither shall they shave their heads, nor suffer their locks to grow long. They shall only pull their heads, which means to cut. Let's read it in the NLT, Ezekiel 44, 20. They must neither shave their heads, nor let, as in getting bald heads, nor let their hair grow too long. Instead, they must trim it regularly. That's the, that's the word pole right there. I'm talking about the attire of a priest. The, the the quorum of a priest. So who the who the heck is this guy, man? The point of the matter is is that the point of gainsaying. That's why the Lord said his people are stiff hearted and a gainsaying people, man. The matter is, is this. Look at this, look at this. This guy like I was like I said, so y'all can learn uh the best thing to do when you got a situation like this, he's not gonna learn. He comes to teach. The best thing you can do is say, oh, we're getting ready to close. Nice talking to you, brother. Are y'all going to be out here next week? We may. They never come back until this guy disappears. He comes to teach us. Let me let you hear this again, how he pronounces our, the word. It's not, it's, we get on IUIC about calling Most High Christ blessed. But we'll get on you if you say Yah. Yah is not the Most High's name. Matter of fact, you're blaspheming in the name of the Most High. By call, like, almost like a nickname. If somebody's name is Timothy, formally you would say Timothy. You ain't going to say Tim. If you know the man and you're cool, you might say Tim. He might allow you to say Tim. But you don't call the Most High's Yah. The point of the matter is, is that the point of gainsaying. That's why the Lord said his people are stiff hearted and a gainsaying people, man. The matter is, is this. About now, if you notice, he's talking and this guy just over talks him. See, right then and there, you know, you're in the heat of the moment. Right then and there, it's time to go. It's time to go because there's no teaching going out because it's just two men talking to each other. He's at his station. Where's your station? Let me bring this back again. 
You can see a man don't have to. See, you can see the spirit of an individual by the by the way they carry themselves. Their 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 uh, body language. He comes to teach. Basically, he's saying you guys got it all wrong. You got to come up under me so you can learn it the right way. We ain't dealing with niggas like you. The 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 quorum of a priest. So who the who the heck is this guy, man? The point of the matter is, is that the point of gainsaying. That's why the Lord said His people are stiff-hearted and a gainsaying people, man. The matter is, is this. Cause, 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 you heard how he said it. You're speaking about Yahoo Shai, but you haven't referenced Yahuwah. He doesn't know the Hebrew. I'm telling you, from some Hebrew Israelite group, they probably sent him out there. He said, you heard what he said, how can you be speaking about Yahoo Shai, Yahoo Shai, which is not the Lord's name. It's closer than what the IUIC t teaches, but it's not the name. His name is Yahweh Shai. And he said Yahuwah. That's not the name of, that's not how you pronounce the name Yahuwah. Just for reference for you brothers, you deal with a guy like that, you know, you, you get into a back and forth argument, he ain't listen to you, he comes there to teach, like I said, this is the third time I said it, you look at your watch and say, oh, we're getting ready to close up, uh, nice meeting you brother, or whatever, tell him, tell him what he wants to hear, and just go, let's say you want to be out there for another hour, take a drive 10 minutes away, and set up someplace else, that's it. Another thing with you brothers, try to try not to be out there in the night. I know it gets, you know, might work at a certain time. You know, that's why we mostly go out on a Saturday. Most people, brothers, don't work. We try to be out there in the daytime. When the nighttime comes, so does the demons come out. But I mean, it's getting darker. You do do the best that you can. What, what was, what was, what was, what was, what was, did you hear what he said? He's he's not even listening to what he he's saying what he wanna say. Let me bring that back again. He said a little bit clearer. He has an arrogant, erudite spirit on him. Saying that's why the Lord said his people are stiff hearted and again saying people, man. What was, what was, what was, what was, what was, what was, what uh, was, what was, what was, what was, what was, what you what was, what was, what was, what was, what was, what the garden referencing what was, 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 what it said, examine first and then rebuke. He's rebuking him now. He's not even listening to what the elder, young elder is saying. And we're not here to save the whole nation. That's not our job. Our job is to push this word out that the elect can be initiated or uh, initiated by the Most High through the Spirit. The Most High is only bringing one group of people out of here, and that's the elect. And this guy's not one of the elect. Unless he repents. In Yahweh. And in order for him to repent, he has to throw away that. Whatever Hebrew congregation he was with, he has to throw all that out. And he got to start from the beginning. Okay. I just read to you earlier the voice that came out the chariot. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. The scriptures say if you have the son, you have the father. All right. That's First John. So you, you go and find out. You got a lot of Israelites that got a problem with Yahweh Shai. Worshipping a, a so-called East Indian God. It's, it's a heathenistic practice, that, that those dreadlocks, man. That's true. Luke 19 and 27. It doesn't says, go back to Benjamin. It goes my back to Elam. Me, not that I should reign. These heathens slay them before me. So that's Yahweh Shai's attitude. Father. Right? So in a way, this guy, he denies the son. He doesn't put importance on the son. I'm talking about the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. It's not the way. He doesn't. The son, he does this. The same the, have not the, the father. Son. And truth be told, Timothy two and five. There's a mediator between us. Father deals with order. 
You can't just come to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and buy things that cannot be uttered. Okay? What he has made is good enough. The garden eastward in Eden, that's right? That's what you have to believe. What he has what was, made is good enough. Yet. That's the what point you of have matter to believe. Is, the point of the matter is, I, is that what? The kingdom of heaven is within you. Exactly. <laughs> where you get that from? Where, exactly. no, no, oh, 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 where you get that from? It's correct. No, where, that, is that in the Torah? What you just said is correct. Where you get, where, how, how you know that's correct? It's Who said it? Who said it? I would have said, who said it? The kingdom of heaven is within you. Let, let's get that. The same one that he's denying. Those were the words of Yahweh Shai, man. And I, that's all I'm going to do. All I'm going to speak on. I want to hit one precept. You're not the teacher. You're not here to teach us. We're here to teach you. If you if you think that you're a teacher, then go and teach somebody. Get your, Get disciples of your own. That, why do you, why don't why why do you think we don't deal with uh, Sarnetta and the so-called black conscious community? Because they're dead. I'm not going to a damn graveyard to try to wake up the dead people. What I say? Oh, I'll leave y'all with this. Ecclesiastes five. Okay, it, the, the heading says, your attitude towards the Most High. I'm going to read this in the King, the King James. I'm going to read this in the NL, NL. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to the NLT. Let's see what the NLT says. This is an NLT, as you can see. As you enter the house of the Most High, keep your ears open and your mouth shut. When we're teaching and you come into our circle, you're entering into the house of the Most High, into his house. Uh, King Solomon spoke about that in uh, Song of Solomon 8. It is evil to make mindless offerings to the to the most high don't make rash promises and don't be hasty and bring in matters before the most high after all the most high is in heaven and you are here on earth so let your words so let your words be few if he came there to teach he should just keep going and and get his own disciples too much activity gives you restless dreams. Too many words make you a fool. Fool. When you make a promise unto the Most High, don't delay in following through. It goes into a vow. It is better to say nothing than to make a promise and not keep it. Don't let your mouth make you sin. And he's sinning because he's coming. He's, he's disrupting the teachings of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The scripture said, how can two walk together except they be agreed? He's, he's off on the name. He got dreadlocks. It said, don't let your mouth make you sin and don't defend yourself by telling the temple messengers that the promise you made was a mistake. Now that right there is a cut. Uh, if you fall out this truth, if you turn your back upon on the plow and you go back into the world, or you disappear for 20 years or 50 years or whatever, and then you try to come back, the most high, the door is going to, the, the invisible door is going to be shut in your face. Like Azak, Azak came on the scene. He did two guest appearances on two YouTube pages talking about we all these these guys, these these other brothers that came from one west and got their camps. They're all wrong. They got to now come unto him. Like I said, when you first came on, I said, "Ain't nobody coming. Yahan ain't coming under you. 
Bishop Nate is not Nathaniel ain't coming under you. I ain't coming under you. Ain't none of these guys that are formerly of one West is gonna come up under you. Because I'm not gonna come up under a guy that claims to be a teacher and he did a disappearing act for over twenty years or twenty years, whatever the case may be. And all of a sudden you come out of nowhere and we gotta come up under you? Are you kidding me? And plus, you, you, uh, you said a, a certain things that had nothing to do with what they was teaching originally in um, One West. You said the 12 tribe sign was wrong. You said Joseph should be on the sign. I think you said Dan should be on the sign. Uh, Masha is not King David. There was a certain, and oh, you said hell is an actual place. You said even the demons are afraid to go to hell. So ain't nobody going to follow you. So just keep doing what you're doing. And you shouldn't come on YouTube no more because guess what? We're going to we're going to we're going to make a videos. You know, we're going to make a response videos every time you come on the show and do something. Any time any time you go off, we're going to correct you on how you went off. It says, don't six verse and uh, don't let your mouth make you sin and don't defend yourself by telling the temple me messenger that the promise you made was a mistake. When you come into this truth, when you come into this circle, so to speak, that's a, that's a vow that you take. If you turn your back on that, like I said, you turn your back so you broke that vow. So what's going to happen to you? You're going to be destroyed right over here, right here in Babylon. And you're going to take the chip. I bet you that dude don't know nothing about the chip, the, the MOTB. That would not, that would make the Most High angry and he might wipe out everything you have achieved and wipe you out. Talk is cheap. Like daydreams and other useless activities Fear the Most High instead. Anyway, with that, I said I was going to make this short. Um, I'm going to say Shalom on to the next one. Shalom.